So it appears that I've acquired a fan, or rather an anti-fan, or a stalker, or someone who is distressed, embarrassed, and humiliated by my videos. I say apparently because this person claims to be a concerned family member, and I have reason to doubt that, but at the same time I find it difficult to imagine anyone being so pathetic to make up such a story, so I'm not really sure what to make of it, but in any case, I thought I'd make a video response since typing it up takes too much time and the tone doesn't always come across right in the written word. So let's begin with uh, responding to the beginning of their uh, last utterance, where they say, Dennis, you really have to stop. Well, no, actually I don't. You see, I can do whatever I want. And trust me, the desperate pleas of pathetic losers begging me to stop is sure to have the opposite effect. So if you want more videos, keep asking me to not make videos, because that's the way you get more videos. Anyways, she goes on, and I'm assuming it's a she because of the uh, over-emotional nature of this uh, ongoing plea. We are all very worried about you. Uh, okay, who is this we that you refer to? We are all? Wow, did you have a family meeting and they elected you the czar of the family Politburo to police the thinking of the family? I mean, you are not a we. Get over yourself. You might be worried about me, although I sincerely doubt that you even know me. Certainly not well. So stop with the we self. Get a grip. You speak for no one but yourself, and quite frankly, you're not doing a very good job of that, because you really haven't said very much. And you go on. Ever since you graduated from Trump University, you have become a different person. Well, I did not attend Trump University, and I'm the same person I've been for many years now. Besides, even if I had become a different person, that is up to me, not up to you. And you know, it takes all kinds of different people to make up this world. And I believe the word for that variation is diversity. You know, maybe you should try practicing a little tolerance for people that are unlike yourself. You know, celebrate diversity. I heard it's a new trend. And you continue. You are not the man we used to know and love. Well, that's great. I can be the man you know and hate. I don't care. I am who I am, not who you want me to be. It's not my job to live up to your expectations or desires or appease your insecurities. I'm here to live my own best life, and I'm getting busy doing it. And you go on. Can't you see how much you're hurting your family? Well, no, I can't see that, and I doubt you can either. You know, I just got off the phone with my mom. She's doing fine. I showed her your messages too. She doesn't think you're a family member either, but she does think you're an idiot, so we agree on that. And so as far as the part of the family whose opinion I value, you are on the wrong side. Oh, we have a few ideas on who you could be if you were a family member, but I wouldn't want to wrongly accuse someone as being pathetic as you appear to be. And speaking of being wrong, let's go on to your next line. Not to mention how you've lost your job and friends, too, over your QAnon preaching. Well, and here's why I don't believe you know me very well, if at all. For I haven't had a job in many years. I don't need a job. People who know me know that. My only job is annoying idiots on the internet, and I do that for free. And lost my friends? Which, which friends are these? You keep a database of my friendship status? I mean, seriously, get a grip. On reality, who, who do you think you are? <laughs> are you the CIA of Friendship Patrol? I mean, come on. And as for QAnon preaching, nothing I say in this video or any video of mine is sourced from QAnon or references QAnon in any way. I am not a follower of QAnon. In fact, I believe that phenomenon is little more than a practical joke, which is a step up from the literal joke I think you are. And you continue. Please get help, Dennis. We love you so much and want you to get better with a little sad face. And I gotta tell you, that little sad face is a bit of a tip-off. 
In any case, as far as getting better, how am I supposed to do that? I'm a retired millionaire, living in a tropical country, with a beautiful wife that adores me, a child on the way, a new car, shopping for a new house, and doing everything I want to do when I want to do it, including triggering pathetic weasels on the internet. How am I supposed to make that any better? Buy a helicopter? Yeah, I'm doing just fine. Don't worry about me. Thanks for your concern. But you know, if you have a problem with my videos, then you have a problem. Not me. If something is factually incorrect, point it out. If something is logically falsifiable, point it out. If something is morally questionable, point it out. But you don't do any of that, do you? No, instead of reason or logic, you rely on emotional manipulation, most likely fictional and anonymously AK, although I do like your music choices in your playlist. You know, it's really quite pathetic. And I might suggest, pathetic is not a thing you should aspire to be. It may be wise to consider. You may be in error, not I that you may need to correct your thinking, not I. For after all, how did I end up where I am? And how did you end up where you are? These things may not be unrelated. For whoever perceives reality most accurately has a distinct advantage over the delusional. You see, I've earned the freedom to not give a fuck what you or anyone else thinks of me. But which came first? The freedom or the not giving a fuck? I don't really know. But I do know that relying on the opinions of others for self-validation is a trap. And that using manipulation, or that is the people who use manipulation as a tactic to move others into their own ways of thinking are only revealing that they themselves are caught in that trap of wanting validation from others rather than seeking their best selves. Now, I am not in that trap, nor do I wish to be. And so your attempts to change my course are due to fail. You're simply using the wrong tactics. They don't apply. And as for my videos humiliating you, perhaps you need some humiliation. And me, I'm just here to help dish it out. So. Have a great day, whoever you are, and rest assured, I will. Peace out.